Hello and welcome to this tutorial of Shopify Odoo Connector by Ami Pro. In this video, I will show you how to configure a Shopify instance in Odoo. For that, go to Shopify. Here in the configuration, go to settings. And over here, this all the configurations are required to set up. Firstly, go to instance, select your instance. Then in the option, go to warehouse. Select your warehouse. Now remember one thing, all the orders that you import with Shopify to Odoo will processed and fulfilled by this warehouse. Then go to company and select your company and the language. This language will be visible to your storefront customer. Now let's go to product bulk export operation. For this field, let's take an example. When you create 10 products in Odoo and you want to export it in Shopify. So with that product, do you want to set the price? Then check this option on. Or let's say you want to set stock with that product, then click here. Or you want to set images with that products, then check this option set images. And finally, if you want to publish that all the products in your store, then allow this option publish in website. After that go to product bulk sync operation. Here are two fields, one sync images and second is import or sync price. When you importing your product in bulk, at that time do you want to import image also? Then click on sync images and if you want to import the product price with your product, then click on import or sync price. Then go to product information. And here are the fields of discount and calculate discount tax. So how the discount works? Let's say a customer places an order on your Shopify store and applies a coupon code and become eligible for a discount. Now the way Shopify handles that discount and the way Odoo handles that are different. So when you import the orders from Shopify to Odoo, Odoo will create a separate product for the discount. And you can select that discount from here or you can create and configure it from here. Now remember one thing when you creating a new product for discount you have to set your product type as a service all the time. So like this you can create your discount product from here and select it from here. After that the option is calculate discount tax. If you want to set your discount product tax for your customer, then check this option on or calculate discount tax. After that, in the payment information, we have the option of price list and payment term. The price list is the unique concept in Odoo. When you export the products from Odoo to Shopify, you need to set some price rules on the basis of which this product will be exported. And now, the question is, from where I have to configure my price list. So I will show you the procedure for that. Go to sales. And in the sales, go to the catalog and price list. From here, you can create and configure your price list and price list rules. So now again, go to Shopify and select your price list. And here is the option payment term. Select your payment term. Let's say 15 days. This payment term will be updated in your customer's invoice. After that, let's go to order information. Here are some interesting fields which will help you to do your task automatically. Let's go to auto order import. This option will help you to import your customer's order automatically in selected certain duration. When you check this option on, it will ask the duration. Let's set uh, 5 minutes and starting from today. After that, the option of auto order update. When your order comes to you and you process that orders and fulfill that orders, but that updated status will not update it in back in Shopify. So if you want to update the status in back in Shopify also, you can that from here. So just check this option on and again select the duration. 
let's say five minutes and also starting from here and then the option is auto create product if not found when you have created a product in Shopify and the customer makes an order for that particular product if you have checked this option on then your product will be created automatically in your Odoo also so let's check this option then the option is notify customer about update order status when you check this option your customer can get the status of their placed order by email or by login to their Shopify account so I am checking this after that the option is one order can have multiple tracking number when a customer places an order for more than one product for example three products and you have to deliver that product but maybe it's not possible to deliver that all products in a single package so you have to deliver it with different different packages and that order will have multiple tracking number in that scenario check this option on and here is the option of order prefix if you use the multiple Shopify store and you want to separate the products by using prefix so you can set the prefix from here let's say you can set USA or the UK I'm setting it hash for me after that the option is sales team you need to select the sales team who will be the handling your imported orders from Shopify. So you can select it from here. Here in the stock information, we have two options, stock auto export and stock filled. So when you update your product stock in Odoo, it should be displayed to your customer also. So when you select this option, your stock level will be exported automatically. So let's select it and we have to select the duration also let's set 10 minutes starting from today and here is the stock field this field is for how you want to display your product on your store so select the quantity on hand or the forecast quantity whatever you prefer so I'm selecting this and then scroll up and save it now our instance configurations are ready to check it go to instances and you can see the status of our instance is not confirmed yet to confirm it go to our instance and you can change the status from here to confirm it so finally our instance is ready now and the, all the configurations are done. Thank you for watching this video. I hope the video was helpful. Amipro specializes in providing customization, consultancy and support for any and all services related to Odoo. So feel free to contact us on www.amiprotechnologies.com.